I have an Acer laptop here, and the problems with it we're going to show you how to address are if it's not turning on, if it's turning on but freezing, and if it's turning on but then turning itself off. Uh, now keep in mind with any computer repair, there's usually a diagnostic process involved. Um, that's because there sometimes is multiple possible reasons why your computer is doing what it's doing. So we have to troubleshoot and find out exactly which one of those is causing it so we know what to repair. Uh, generally speaking with uh, troubleshooting, you start with the easiest or the cheapest repair first and you diagnose for that. And if that doesn't help you solve your problem, then you move on to the more complicated repairs or the more expensive repairs. So again, Acer laptop not turning on, freezing, or turning on and turning off. If you have a different issue, then you need a different video. If your computer is turning on but the screen is staying black, uh, go into the description down below, that'll be video number one. If your computer is turning on but getting into sort of a, a boot loop where it just keeps rebooting, uh, that's video number two in the description. So to start off with, we're going to unplug your charger, flip your computer over, and take your battery out. Now, if your battery didn't come out as easily as this did, you could have an internal battery. Uh, look at video number three in the description to see how to get that out, um, if it doesn't just unclip and slide out. Now we're going to hold your power button down for one minute. Many of you, if you've ever called in to a warranty repair, uh, this is the first step they'll always have you do when you call in. Um, what this is doing is it's draining any static buildup from your machine. You could be getting static from a variety of ways. Maybe your surge protector is going bad or you're not using one. Uh, maybe your charger is going bad, your battery is going bad, or possibly you're just using your computer around sources of static too often. Uh, pillows, blankets, maybe you're letting your pet sleep on it. Uh, but either way, we're, re uh, we're releasing the static from it by doing this. After you've done that, we're going to put your parts back in, we're going to put your battery back in, and we're going to put your charger back in. At this point, go ahead and try turning your computer on. If it turns on, it means a static buildup was your only issue, so we can address that by the methods we talked about earlier. If it's not turning on, now we need to diagnose whether it's your charger or your battery. So go ahead and unplug your charger again. Uh, remove your battery again. And we're going to hold your power button down for another minute. After you've been holding that down for a minute, put your battery back in. But we're going to leave your charger unplugged. Go ahead and try to turn your computer on. If your computer turns on, it means that it's healthy and your battery is healthy. It means that your charger most likely needs to be uh, replaced. Sometimes when a computer senses that a charger or battery is malfunctioning, uh, it'll stop itself from turning on to avoid being damaged. Uh, so if, if that's the case here, replace your charger. If it's not turning on, then we repeat the process to test if your charger is going bad. So take the battery back out, hold the power button down for another minute. After you've held that down for a minute, go ahead and plug your charger in, but leave your battery unplugged. Try turning on your computer. If your computer turns on, it means the same thing. It means your computer's fine and the charger's fine, but now it means you may want to replace your battery. Now, if after these steps, your computer still is not turning on, we need to progress into the troubleshooting and troubleshoot other possible causes. Now, this is going to depend, what avenue we take is going to depend on your exact symptoms of your computer. If your computer is turning on but freezing, or if it's turning on and then turning off, we're, we're going to take one route. You're going to go into the description and look at video four, That'll show you how to perform a BIOS reset on your computer. If that doesn't work, go to video 5. Uh, that will show you how to factory reset your computer. However, if your computer is not turning on at all and giving no signs of life, we're going to go a different avenue troubleshooting. Uh, try the BIOS reset procedure in video 4. But if that doesn't work, look at video 6. That's going to show you how to test your charger to make sure your charger is actually working. Uh, it's going to make sure that it's delivering the right amount of power from the wall outlet to this tip. If video 6, after you've done that, you've confirmed your charge is working properly, then look at video 7. That will test your actual power jack in the computer. Sometimes, even though it's getting the right power from here, it's not putting it into your motherboard. So that will be where you go from there. 
So if this video was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you have any questions, if you get stuck anywhere, or if you need any sort of clarification, please leave a message and we'll help you out. Uh, if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.